This is a hydrogen proton, or at least imagine it is. So, how can you make something this small travel near the speed of light? Well, one way to understand it is with this racket. In CERN's Large Hadron Colliders, particles don't get one huge push. They travel in bunches, and each bunch receives many small pushes inside devices called radio frequency cavities. An RF cavity is a metallic chamber containing an electromagnetic field that oscillates extremely fast, flipping directions millions of times per second. If a proton bunch passes at the right instant, the field gives it a little electric impulse. If it passes at the wrong time, it gets almost nothing. And that's why timing is everything. If you swing too early or too late, this proton hardly moves. RF cavities work the same way. Their oscillation is synchronized with the bunches circulating around the LHC, so the electric field points in the right direction exactly when each bunch arrives. Each pass through a cavity gives the bunch a bit more energy. Now for something especially important, the cavity's shape. The cavity isn't just a metal tube. Its shape is carefully engineered so the electromagnetic field forms in just the right way. That shape determines the cavity's frequency and how strongly the field can build up along the path the protons travel, letting it give each bunch an efficient push. As the protons loop again and again around the LHC's 27 km ring guided by superconducting magnets and traveling through an ultra-high vacuum, these tiny pushes gradually add up. After many laps, the protons reach such high energy that they move extremely close to the speed of light, leading to nearly a billion particle collisions every second. Magnets steer them, vacuum clears the way, and the RF cavities give the push. Together, those tiny time kicks bring protons to incredible speeds. So our proton, this shot of cock, doesn't need one massive swing. It just needs the right push at the right moment.